Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand how to make an imperative call in LWC. But before getting started, if you like my videos, please subscribe to this channel. So as we learned in the previous videos that using wire, you can pull the data from Salesforce. So what happens is if you are using wire and whenever you are using wire, whenever your component is reloaded, Automatically it will pull the data from your apex class to your LWC component But as you see that no matter what if we don't have much control over it, right? As soon as our component is reloaded It will automatically make a call out to an apex and pull the data from apex But what if we don't want this way? What if we want to pull the data as per as our need like for an example if on a click of a button we want some data or on a click of on a uh, on click of a checkbox we want to pull some kind of data in such cases how to handle this this is where imperative call comes into the place using imperative call you can pull the data as per as your need not like wire wire will push the data no matter what but if you want to pull the data as per as the need like for an example if i click on the button i want to pull the data something like that we can use imperative call in lwc so that's what basically is called as imperative call so in this video what are we going to do is i'm going to create a normal button now this button is going to pull any five random accounts in our salesforce doc it's just going to pull any five random accounts from our salesforce doc using uh, imperative call so uh, let's move to the rlwc component first i need the button over here basically i need a button over here so i'm going to create lightning button and the name is brand let's name it as get data get data and on click of it handle click will is going to work so i have to implement this function inside my js now what's going to happen is i have this button available as soon as i click on this button handle click will work inside this handle click all i am doing is just alerting something like button click something like that so let's see now whether my button is working perfectly fine or not yeah button is visible to me as soon as i click on it as you can see alert is coming to me now instead of alert what i want to do is i want to pull the data from salesforce right to pull the data from salesforce as we have learned in wire first we have to create an apex class which is going to query the data as per as our need so again i'm going to create a one more apex method which will pull any five random accounts for us list of account get imperative data and it's going to just return select id comma name from account limit 5 any 5 random accounts now this function is going to return any 5 random accounts but i have to call this function only on the click of a button so first i have to import this uh, method in my lwc component So from the same apex class, I'm going to the same method and I'm going to name it as making imperative call. Now it says make, making imperative call is going to call, be called inside the handle click. So as soon as the button is clicked, what's going to happen is it's going to call the making imperative call, which is basically going to call over this apex method. Now to make an imperative call, you have to do this way dot then and that will be result curly braces right so let's say this making imperative as soon as i click on this uh, button a making imperative call will work and this making imperative call is going to call my apex method this apex method and as soon as i make this call it's going to return me the list of five accounts any random five accounts as soon as it is going to return the any random five accounts I will get those account inside the result and then I'm just going to print the result 
is R5 account plus result. Now the data written in the form is a uh, object object uh, kind of data is written in the case of LWC. So in order to get the proper visualization of data, I'm going to do is json.stringify just to view the data, whether the data is coming perfectly fine or not. So let's see if I refresh it. So now what's going to happen is as soon as I click on it, that the, as soon as I click on this button again, making imperative call will work and making imperative will call our apex method. Now, if apex method is going to return the data, it's going to return inside the result, but it's going to return the result in the form of object object format. So in order to just visualize the data perfectly, whether the data is fine or not, I'm going to stringify it. Okay. And then that stringified data will be visible to me inside the console because I'm printing it in console log. So as soon as I click on it, as you can see, these are five accounts and I'm getting any five random accounts. So this is how you make an imperative call. Another thing is that whenever you're making an imperative call, you must handle errors as well because this is just a happy path. There might be the cases that data might not return or there might be some kind of error. To handle that, you can use dot catch and then error semicolon no semicolon console dot lock this is error so in case if you are making a call to that make epics method there was some certain kind of error in that cases it will go inside this cache and then it's going to return the error and whatever the error is we are going to print it over here so this is how you make an imperative call in LWC. So if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to this channel.